Okay, so there is a minor missing feature on the Canon Rebel T3i or 600D in that you can't listen to the audio live as in as you're recording you can't hear what the camera is recording whether there's any background noise or hiss or anything like that and you could buy an expensive um, sort of mixer to mount on the camera or underneath it and you could get a different camera but um, thanks to the guys at Magic Lantern there is a solution so you will need to install Magic Lantern for this and it's extremely simple and really cheap I have seen some videos where they say you've got to get a special cable in order to hit listen to it and do live monitoring while you're looking through the viewfinder or on the screen but that's not actually the case so go and watch another video install the latest version of Magic Lantern for the T3i and uh, once you've done that welcome back so firstly you're going to need a USB to RCA or composite output and this comes with a US, um, USB mini um, plug to connect to your camera and three RCA connectors a yellow one for video and a red and a white one for stereo sound now this is a, just a very very standard cable um, the only caveat I would put on is when you're ordering it from somewhere like eBay make sure that you've put Canon in the search and make sure that the description says four Canon cameras and that's um, and basically that would allow you if you had another um, phono female to headphone jack cable already that would be it that's all you're going to need and I got mine for six pounds which is probably about eight dollars now so um, so you need that and the other thing I did get was this which is a a little double phono to stereo jack so you can plug in a normal set of headphones so when it's assembled all you need to do is plug the phono jacks into the one end and an ordinary set of stereo headphones into the other and that's going to be your cable and then all you do is plug the USB into the USB port on the camera I'm not framing this very well but it hardly requires it and then when you go into live view and you go into movie mode which is where the microphone is switched on okay once it's in movie mode you start recording you'll actually be able to hear and I'm just using the um, the onboard mic just to do it but it works exactly the same with an external microphone I'm going to just put this in here Let me get this going just put this into here maybe you need to turn up the headphone volume a little bit Maybe we need to turn up the so that's the um, increase that as well. So that squeal basically means you've got live monitoring. So literally a standard four canon USB to phono cable and a converter will give you live monitoring of the sound so you can hear all the imperfections in the sound or whether you're getting the sound clearly so that you can whether you could that you can then decide whether you want to use the onboard sound that's already on the clip or you want to use do something else to it in post but this at least gives you a clue while you're out in the field of how to do it and it's an extremely simple fix I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet and that's why you're getting this fairly dodgy video but it literally is that just get that cable it's about six quid make sure it says four Canon get a little converter to convert the phono to a headphone jack 
The total cost to me was £8, probably more like $10. But considering the next camera out that's got a headphone socket is many hundreds of pounds more than the T3i, and that's one of the very few features that it has over the T3i, this will give you an amazing sort of advantage when you're recording. If you're just running and gunning, you can listen to audio directly off the camera's microphone or the onboard microphone, and you can properly hear what's being recorded to see if you've got too much gain. And I'll have to do another video about the audio signals. So this is the only YouTube video, this is gonna be the only YouTube video you might be able to find on the subject. I'm sure other people will pick up on it and do a better video on it and maybe do something with sound, but there it is. If you're looking for T3i onboard audio monitoring, monitoring, there it is. So here we are in Magic Lantern. Um, this is the audio section. Once you've installed it and you've opened up the menu. And uh, so you need to put headphone monitoring on and you need to turn up the headphone volume to suit you. And that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously you've got all sorts of things like mic boost and gain and analog gain and stuff like that. And maybe in a later video we'll go into that. But what we're really interested in this time around and what I couldn't find a solution for on the web or on YouTube is how to get the headphones on. So turn the headphone monitoring on, increase the volume by however many decibels you think, okay and then you'll need something really really simple you'll just need you'll need some very cheap hardware 